Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. Today I'm just actually, um, I'm cook I just cooked dinner right now, but I'm actually about to um, cook my kids lunch for tomorrow. So, um, hey, we started, we're gonna have some Philly bacon cheese. So I Mom, actually kind of already started, but this is just finally shredded uh, ribeye steak. Okay, and uh, the seasoning I'm using is gonna be complete seasoning, seasoned salt. Steak seasoning and garlic powder. You can season it whatever you like. This is just what I choose to do, so don't come for me in these comments. All right, let's get into how it looks. Um, after I put in all my seasonings, again, I use these. This is how it looks after I put in all those seasonings. And I just basically just, you know, seasoned it. I don't measure, so I can't tell y'all. I just, I don't, I don't know, I don't measure. It just, I stop when it looks good. So from this, I'm gonna actually put it into this. And this, because it's gonna get cooked tomorrow, I'm actually gonna just let it, right. I'm gonna put it in this, and I'm gonna put it in my fridge, and I'm gonna let it marinate overnight. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this because I got a lot of people to cook. All right, y'all, so this is how it looks after I have packed, seasoned both packs of that, um, of that finely shredded ribeye steak. And yeah, so this is it, I'm gonna, this is just regular saran wrap. And I just, I seasoned it up real good using the seasonings that I showed y'all earlier. And I'm basically just going to let this sit in the fridge until tomorrow. And uh, just so okay, marinate real good and taste real, real good. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'll be back tomorrow um, to show y'all what to do to cook it or how to cook it or how I cook it, should I say. Um, and then um, show you the finished product. So, yeah. All right, y'all. It's the next day for these Philly steak and cheese. Um, just took them out the refrigerator. Now, I'm just putting some butter in the pan. We're gonna saute up these uh, little, what you call these things? The little vegetables, onions, and the bell peppers. All right, meanwhile, while that's cooking, this is the stuff I'm gonna be putting on the, on the bread. This is the bread I'm using. I don't know who this by. That, that person there. I'm using just some regular mayonnaise and mustard. Get whatever kind you like, whatever brand. I'm using provolone cheese and Swiss cheese, because that's what we do. I know it's two different cheeses. Please don't come to me in the comments. We love cheese. Okay? Right, I actually put a little bit of butter in here just to give it a little bit of flavor. I am not a professional chef. This is the way that I cook for my family. I just want to show some of y'all. Yeah, it's five one five for y'all. All right, once the meat is done, I put my already sauteed onions and bell pepper in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in this piece of provolone cheese like that. And we're gonna let that melt and stir it all up real nice and good. So once your cheese start melting, it should start to look something like this. See how it's all nice and cheesy? It's kind of melt that real. But I did put a piece of cheese on there. I covered it for like 30 seconds and then came back and stirred it up. Now it's gonna come right, y'all. Boom, that's the finished product. All I did was literally just bring the meat off the thing, put it on here, and that's that. So now my baby's got some lunch. I'm about to go and take it to him because I'm about to be late. <laughs> But yeah, they're gonna enjoy it. They're gonna have a good one. I'm gonna put some chips with it and a drink and they should be good. Drop down below in the comments what y'all think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.